Janet and today I'm going to be making a pair of beaded earrings for you using products from BB Crafts. Um, now I have taken all of these out of other packages that I have but just to um, zoom in here and show you what I have is I have um, two rhinestone beads in blue. You could, this came in a package of a variety of colors, so you could uh, choose whichever color you like. I have a separator bead here that has rhinestones on it. That's a small cap. I have two uh, ear wires with a loop. I have, they're not actually ear wires. They're, I forget what they're called. These are the ear wires. Um, and then I have the dangled bits. I've put six in there thinking I'd put three on each one and connect them with a small jump ring. Now I have a pair of round nose pliers for bending the wire and then I also have uh, flat nose pliers and my flat nose pliers comes with a wire cutter right here in this section um, so I don't need a wire cutter. I can use my flat nose. And then also, uh, the other thing about my flat nose is that you'll notice that it truly is flat inside here. There's no ridges. Now, a hardware pair of pliers would come with bumps in here, but mine are flat and that way that it won't put any of that texture onto my wire when I'm working with it. So to begin, I'm just going to go in here and grab up one of my wires. Now, my um, pliers seem to be have a little bit of magnetism to them, so um, it's easy for me to pick up the metal pieces. So I'm just going to put that cap on there and then grab a bead and let's see how this looks um, like so. And then all I need to do is bend a loop. I don't even have to cut this down. It's, it's a good size for me. So now I'm going to take my flat nose and get right in here and bend as close to the bead as I can. And there we go. Can you see? There's the bend on the wire. And then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and grab a hold of that end wire. And I'm going pretty close to the end of my flat, my rounded nose pliers because, oops, I don't have a lot of wire left there to roll and I need to roll all the way over. So I want to give this a bend, twist back and bend again. And that should give me a completely rounded end. So there, you can see on one end, I have the man-made one. Well, this is the man-made one on mine, and this is the machine-made one. So that is my connection for my earring. And then I'm gonna put the dangles on the bottom and the ear wire at the top. So let's take a look at this wire and see if I can open up this top or if I'm going to need a jump ring here. Um, I forgot to look before I started to find out which side opens. Yeah. Okay. So there I'm twisting. Can you see I'm twisting away from the loop? I'm not pulling it apart. And the reason I want to twist is um, I can twist it right back into place then. So I'm going to slip on the wire the earring part and then I'm going to twist that loop right back shut all right and I'm working in a really small active space here so hopefully you can see that well so this will hang like so isn't that pretty and then we can put on our little pieces at the end and I don't think we're even going to need that jump ring I think I can just slip them on here so once again, I'm going to take that loop. Let me see if I can get in here and you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take that loop and twist it open. I don't know if you can even see that it's twisted open. And then I'm going to grab these little elements and let's see if we can slide them on here because they're, they are gosh darn small. I may need to open up. Yeah, I'm going to need to open this up just a little bit more to get those in there because that bead is too close. All right, and then 
I pick it up? Can I pick it up? Let's try flatness. There we go. That makes it a whole lot easier to get on there. Let's see what three of these looks like. There's the last one, and then I just need to grab that wire and bend it back before any of these fall off, and one just did. <laughs> oh, there goes number two. All right. So we've got one dangle. <laughs> Get back to putting these on again. All right. A little fiddly. Small work here. And then, of course, doing it on camera, you know, adds a level of difficulty. There we go. All right, I'm going to bend that back. And then just push it in there. And so there is what that earring looks like. And can you see the dangles at the bottom? There. There. So the three of them. And so it does have a little little activity. It has a little shine to it in the light. But then it also has a little bit of a, a dangle as well. So sometimes even after you've made a pair, or at least one of the pair of earrings, you decide you don't like your design. And I didn't really care for those little dangly pieces at the bottom. And so I went with the flat head at the bottom and um, so here it is and you can see here is the flat head of the wire at the bottom and there is my quick and easy pair of earrings using all the products from BB Crafts. Aren't they quite elegant? I love how they sparkle. I love the blue color. And with the package that came with multiples of these kinds of beads, I can make more pairs in different colors. 